that embodies the apocalypse quite like Fallout. As one of the most important RPGs of the 1990s, the Fallout series has grown to become one of the biggest franchises in modern gaming under the hand of Bethesda. Yet Fallout's journey spans decades, with financial struggles, fan backlash, and one big lawsuit shaping the franchise into what it is today. To find out where it all began, we have to go back to 1988. That year, American developer Interplay Entertainment released Wasteland, a post-apocalyptic open-world RPG set in the American West. It was this title, along with several others, that earned Interplay a reputation of being a quality developer. Fast forward a few years and Interplay was able to acquire the license to the GURPS RPG system and plan to develop a spiritual successor to Wasteland. Yet when it became apparent that the game would feature a lot of violence and gore, Interplay dropped GURPS and made their own RPG system called Special. Set in the 22nd century, the game that would become followed was set in an alternate universe where technology was developed on an entirely different track starting in the 1940s. In the year 2077, the United States and China started a nuclear war that destroyed the world with pockets of humanity hiding in vaults in the US. You play as a survivor in one of those vaults who has to venture out into the wasteland and has to find a way to save his home. Taking four years to develop, Fallout was released in 1997 to great acclaim. Its unique setting, the special system, and the gameplay itself set it apart from other RPGs in the era. It sold very well, which caused Interplay to task the newly formed Black Isle Studios with developing a sequel. Though most of Black Isle Studios consisted of veterans from the first Fallout, the team rushed Fallout 2 out the door for a 1998 launch, to the point that it became known for a number of bugs and a huge amount of missing content. It was still well received and sold well, but its numerous issues hurt the game's reputation despite it being much bigger and often better than its predecessor. Fallout was a popular franchise on PC at this point, but a direct sequel wouldn't be released until 2008. That's because behind the scenes, things began to fall apart. Interplay first decided to expand the Fallout license with the tactical strategy game Fallout Tactics Brotherhood of Steel in 2001. This is followed by another spin-off on consoles in 2004, the similarly named Fallout Brotherhood of Steel, which didn't sell well at all. After releasing several other games, Black Isle began to work on Fallout 3 in the early 2000s, which they codenamed Van Buren. Development was going well and it was nearly completed in 2003, but Interplay's financial situation was dire, and they were closing studios left and right. In 2003, it was Black Isle's turn, and they were shut down on the cusp of finishing Van Buren. To recoup some financial losses, Interplay sold the license to Fallout 3 and the rights to the entire franchise to Bethesda Softworks. Rather than use Van Buren assets, Bethesda rebuilt the game from the ground up, changing the series forever in the process. Instead of being a tactical RPG, Bethesda decided to create a first-person RPG. Rather than be tied down to the series' legacy in California, Fallout 3 would be set in DC, decades after Fallout 2. After years of development, Fallout 3 would be released in 2008 to high sales and critical acclaim. Though many longtime fans of the franchise were unhappy with the changes made, they wanted new Fallouts to be similar to the original, and some even boycotted the franchise as a result. Yet, Fallout 3 was taking the world by storm. Two different Fallout projects were in development. The first was Fallout New Vegas, a spin-off of Fallout 3 by Obsidian Entertainment, set in the ruins of New Vegas. When it was released in 2010, many hailed it as one of the best RPG experiences ever, despite it containing so many bugs and missed content that it became far less popular than its predecessor. The second project was Fallout Online, which was an MMO that Interplay was working on. Despite selling the rights to Bethesda, Interplay kept the back license to a Fallout MMO, which they began working on in 2007. In 2009, Bethesda sued, arguing that they had the rights to any and all Fallout games. The suit lasted for several years before Bethesda and Interplay ultimately settled in court, with Bethesda keeping the rights for a few million dollars. The franchise was quiet for a few years until 2015 when Bethesda released two Fallout games in a year. The first was Fallout Shelter, a Fallout game for mobile devices. The second and the bigger of the two was Fallout 4. Taking the series to Boston, Fallout 4 strayed even further from Fallout's origin by emphasizing exploration and crafting over the RPG elements of the past. 
But despite all of that, or perhaps because of it, Fallout is one of the biggest RPG franchises in gaming. Its detailed, strange world filled with mutated creatures and 50s science fiction is unlike anything else. It's gone to places no one could have predicted in 1997. But it remains beloved despite it all. Because in the end, one fact remains, war never changes. Thank you.